Welcome to my kitchen and a new episode of What's for Dinner. Today we're going to be making an adaptation of one of my nanny's recipes that I've adapted for the crock pot. It's a sweet orange chicken that we cook, slow cook, chicken thighs and chicken breasts. You can do whatever you want. Let's go see how we make this. Just a real quick overview of what we're going to put in the crock pot. I have about two pounds of skinless chicken thighs that are bone in. I have two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cut in half because they were so massive. I've got a pound of baby carrots. I've got one large onion that I've sliced and quartered. I've got two bell peppers that I cut into strips. Two cloves of garlic that are minced. One and a half cups of orange marmalade, whatever is your favorite brand. Two tablespoons each, rice, wine, vinegar, soy sauce. And our spices are salt, cracked black pepper, onion powder, poultry seasoning, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. Everything's going to go in the pot now. This is super simple, super fast chicken in the crock pot. Onions uh, and uh, bell, peppers. bell peppers in the crock pot. It goes in all of our seasonings, pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, Cracked black pepper, poultry seasoning, in with our white um, rice vinegar, our soy sauce, carrots, right there. This is two cups of chicken stock. Goes over everything, and our orange marmalade goes in on top. Give everything a bit of a zhuzh. But don't worry because these things are all going to cook together during the cooking process. So don't worry if you don't get it mixed in perfectly because it's going to mix itself. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on it. I'm going to put it in the crock pot sleeve. I'm going to set it on high and I'm going to cook this for six to seven hours. Okay, our chicken has been cooking for about five hours. It's nice and tender. The meat is done through and all the vegetables are tender. Now we're going to go ahead and thicken up this orangey and delicious sauce. And I have a cup of water and a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. And this is organic cornstarch. We're just going to shake this up and we're going to make a slurry. And I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to put the lid back on it and we're going to let it thicken up. So just give it a good stir and this is going to give the sauce a little bit of body and it's going to go really nicely over some rice. So we're going to put the lid on this, we're going to let it thicken up and we'll be back and we'll fix your plate. Alright, our slow cooked sweet orange chicken is all done. It's It cooked for about six hours and then I thickened it up with that cornstarch and water slurry and then I just put it on warm until it was time to have supper. So I just made up a little bit of steamed rice and that's what we're going to have this with. I also have some broccoli steaming that we're going to enjoy this with as well. But I thought I would give Rick a taste since he's standing here trying to get a taste of it. So to. there you go. There's a piece of dark meat. What do you think? Mm, that was awesome. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm. It picked up all the flavors out of that. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's the best part of the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Just that little bit of soy sauce um, turn the meat just a beautiful golden brown. That little bit of rice vinegar, it tenderized everything and it permeated, gave a little bit of tanginess to the sauce. So I hope you try this slow cooked sweet orange chicken and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!